Ever wonder why inflation in the Eurozone has been a major concern for policymakers and citizens alike? Here's a breakdown. Inflationary pressures have been a consistent issue across the Eurozone, causing sleepless nights for economists and policy wonks. Recent data, however, showed a glimmer of hope. Inflation rates seem to be on a downward trend, suggesting that the Eurozone was beginning to get a handle on this economic challenge. But just when we thought we had it all figured out, France and Spain decided to throw a curveball. Instead of continuing the downward trend, inflation in these two countries declined slower than expected. This unexpected turn of events disrupts the narrative of overall progress in the Eurozone. It's like finally seeing the light at the end of a tunnel, only to realize there's another twist in the path. So, while the Eurozone seemed to be making progress, the slowdown in France and Spain complicates the picture. Now you might be wondering what's the connection between inflation and government bonds? Let's dive into it. Government bonds are, in essence, loans made by investors to a country. The yield, or the interest rate offered on these bonds, is influenced by a myriad of factors, one of them being inflation expectations. When investors foresee a rise in inflation, they demand a higher return on their investment. This is to compensate for the potential loss in purchasing power. Now the recent slower than expected decline in inflation in France and Spain caused investors to reassess their inflation forecasts. This reassessment led to an increase in bond yields in these countries, reflecting a decreased demand for their bonds. Investors are now seeking better returns elsewhere. As a result, the bond market in France and Spain experienced a jolt, with yields climbing higher. What could be the potential effects of this rise in bond yields? And what's the way forward? Let's explore. The increased bond yields in France and Spain may ripple out in several directions. Governments could face steeper borrowing costs, which might curtail their ability to fund social programs and infrastructure projects. This uptick in borrowing costs could trickle down to businesses and consumers, potentially dampening economic activity and investment. The uncertainty surrounding the inflation outlook and future actions by the European Central Bank, or ECB, could stir up more volatility in the European bond market. Moving forward, the ECB, along with investors, will be keeping a keen eye on inflation data from all member states to chart the course for monetary policy. Keep an eye on the Eurozone. It's a complex inflation puzzle that's yet to be solved. Remember, the economic story is always evolving, and so are the markets.